What is going on guys? So it is good to be back in front of the camera. Um, I have had a little bit of a break. I've been focusing on a few things, doing a few things and um, I guess the main reason why is I am uh, really struggling to sleep. I do it every couple of months where I go through these really bad sleeping patterns and um, so basically I've been doing everything between um, midnight and five o'clock in the morning and um, yeah I can't really be filming at that time but we've pulled out the rack in here we're gonna get ready to be uh, redoing this big enclosure um, I've got uh, Fatso, Ipso and Fatso are paired together and then the Rippin' Boy and the Rippin' Girl which look completely different so I am wondering whether or not they are actually both Rippins. I don't know, I have to look into the localities a little bit more. Um, this little girl uh, might try and breed her this year and um, we're going to have to find these guys a new home. But that is not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're going to try and add a not quite a sump I could set it up as a sump but I've always wanted to turn it into a pond now I've had the container for I think close to three years maybe maybe three years I'm not sure um, how long I've had this for but I've had it for a while and um, I've always been nervous about doing it now we rushed ahead yesterday and drilled a few holes in it and um, did a few things and then I was met when I started researching how to glue to it with the reason why I originally stopped. Now, this is the uh, crate that I'm going to be turning into the pond slash um, whatever, sump thingy, filter. Um, I have seen one person turn this into sort of a pond with filtration and stuff like that. Um, but they had no follow-up, uh, there was no, um, it's gone wrong or it works. So I'm hoping that it worked for him. Um, the problem with this is it is HDPE, uh, well, it's made out of HDPE plastic, which is high-density polyeth polyethylene, um, which is the same stuff that I did a little bit of research into when I was doing, well, when I started collecting the bottle caps. Now, how do you connect a fitting to something that cannot be glued to? Well, we've got a piece of PVC pipe that fits in this thing real solidly, like it is super snug. So, I'm hoping that if we just do a thing of silicon around this um, and a little bit of silicon in there and hammer this in, that that will never come out. And um, up here, I think we're going to try and put a thread in this hole here. Um, as you can see, it goes through to the other side. Now, this hole I probably should have just plugged up um, before I started drilling it out, but I didn't. Now, I don't have any tube uh, HDPE to, to weld to it, so... Um, We'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I just get a whole bunch of uh, plastic HDP from something and just absolutely chock those holes up and then put in my own, my own bulkheads. I was gonna try and fit bulkheads to it, but the way that these systems are set up is very hard. You'd have to drill through there. I could put a bulkhead right there and it'd be perfectly fine, but it does not work there. Now, I do have this uh, plastic sleeve. They, they use them in uh, aquaponics and the hydroponic tub setups and stuff um, where you just drill the hole, put it in, ram the pipe through it and it pressure fits, uh, squeezes it out to the side. So whether or not we're going to try and use this to put in there and then ram the pipe into it with a bit of silicon, um, a bit of silicon around here just to seal it up. 
and um, uh, silicon's not the best thing to be using for this. There's uh, other stuff that you can use, but I don't have any of it. So in there and press it. Or we were going to heat up this and um, heat up this and try and put a thread in the plastic down there. So I don't know what the go is, whether or not we're going to use this or that. I'm not sure. But I'm going to wait for my mate to get here and see what he reckons. Although we both have no idea. But with this one, I think the only only thing is is to put a bit of silicon in that, tap it in, ugh, and um, hopefully that seals up. And I won't put this thing inside. I'll leave it outside so if it leaks, it leaks. So I don't actually know what time my mate's coming around. So um, I think I'm just going to bust some silicon onto this and um, tap it in and hopefully later on i mean it does say to leave it cure for quite a while but it's it's not uh that that's for holding at max capacity and leaching but i don't think i'm gonna wait that long i'm not that patient but uh make sure if you are siliconing siliconing is that even a word if you are going to use silicon for anything uh to do with animals Always make sure that there is, uh, it's, I think, natural curing for smells and odors. Um, and for fish tanks, they want 100% silicon. You can get them in clear, black, and I'm pretty sure they're the only colors that I have seen on aquariums. So this is 100% silicon. It is clear, and it states on the back that it is okay to use. Uh, well that it's aquarium safe. Always make sure that your silicon says that it is aquarium safe or uh, that you do the research and you find out whether or not it is okay because over time it can leach um, causing fish to die later on or some of the more extreme things you can seal it and the second you put anything in it it will die because it will uh, leach so much stuff into the water that it will just kill them. So basically what we're going to do here I'm going to put you down here I should probably bring out my tripod but I'm not going to. So I was going to use uh, 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 the actual glue gun part, but I think I'm just going to skewer it and um, paste it over this thing. It's not going to need a lot because the gap holding it in is like, it's very, very tight. So we'll put it at the base or well, the first bit that enters that hole there and then that way it can move its way down as we push it in and seal up all the little tiny gaps and holes and hopefully this works otherwise I may cry because I got excited I did completely forget about this dilemma also we're not really gluing something to it it's more of a press fit so I'm hoping that this just gives it enough to give it that extra little bit that it will hold itself in there. So I guess only time will tell and you guys might see later whether or not there is um, water all over my floor or dead fish. So like I said, this thing is super tight. There's a few, uh, we completely sanded it, but um, we tried to get rid of some of the ridges in here with a drill bit. So. Well, not even the drill bit. It's like the Christmas tree drill bit. And um, that absolutely destroyed a few things. So, um, yeah. I don't think... Once this goes in, I don't think it'll ever come out. So, um, uh, we'll push that in there. And uh, maybe go get my little mallet and give it a bit of a tap and a tap tap. So, you don't want anything too extreme. I'm sorry. Ooh, Jesus. If it's... Uh, if you wedge it in there and it's pushing out... Uh, over time, over time, having the pressure on this um, can cause it to split open. So we don't really want it um, stupidly in there. So we're just going to give it a nice few taps down. Hmm. I hope that works. So I also might insert the uh, connecting bit out here just so there's an extra bit pushing pressure out um, so it kind of maybe makes this seal a little bit better. I know it's pretty thick PVC so it might not 
make a difference, but anything could possibly uh, save this thing from complete disaster later on down the track. So um, mm, let's uh, get this glued and stick it in there. Now I am using the normal um, PVC cement, which is not recommended for uh, animals if the water comes into contact with it. But my idea is, all right, so I might need two hands to do this and I'll tell you after. So I completely ignored the advice that I just gave you guys about not putting too much pressure on this. Um, I just ran this thing down there and it has stretched this out so much. I don't know if you can see the, uh, let me see if I can get this one. This has squeezed out even more silicon. So um, that's tight. That's probably gonna split, but whatever. <coughs> Now, what I was saying before is, is that the PVC, um, not the PVC, oh wow, I came right through to the other side. All right. Um, the cement, the PVC cement is not okay for the water as long as it doesn't come into contact. So my idea is to sand this back here and blast, sil put silicon all the way around here and that'll cover up that and stop it from leaching into the water. Now, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna put this ball valve on it, which I got uh, a while back. Um, brought it with a bunch of PVC fittings, because I knew I'd use it. I don't know whether or not I'm gonna put the ball valve on it just for a, uh, a nice drain. Um, it's a bit extreme for something so small, but I also may put a couple of elbows on it and just bring it up. I really just wanted to get that whole block. It doesn't really matter what happens there. And now all we've got to do is figure out what we're gonna do with this one. Oh wait. That one might help. Maybe, maybe. Push and twist. <laughs> Oh shit, no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, you stay away. Oh Jesus, this is nerve wracking. I think this is working. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's on an angle, I think. I don't know, I guess it's better than nothing, right? It's a tiny bit. <laughs> it's, it's on a massive angle. That way, it's like you... Oh well. If it works, it works. I don't give a shit. Bloody and just PVC in it. Is that going down? Is it? Oh shit, I think it's just turning. Uh -oh. I'm not sure. Dope. Good enough. That is good enough. Oh, I'm not doing another one because that will disappear. Alright, so we're going to clean that up somehow without breaking everything. <laughs> nice. Good dry sausage. Is that all dry? <laughs> That is all dry. It must have gone. Fail number one. It's gone around like the air of the wood. out of the yeah. wood. Ah. 
Probably should have sealed this thing properly. Yeah. 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 Do you not own a gun for one of these? I do. <laughs> I just didn't want to use one. To anyone else that has to watch this, yes, this is difficult to watch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's happening, it's going in and it's never coming out unless it breaks, of course. But yeah, I think we're good, I think we're good, even though that's on an angle. Do I tighten it up? Just the tiniest bit. Probably shouldn't, but we're doing it, we're doing it. That's it, I got any more. <laughs> Oh, we'll know tomorrow. Done. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. That was probably a bad idea, though. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Wait, oh, done. We're going. We're going. We're going further. It's like automatic oh, torque wrench. That's <laughs> still going. Oh, wow. That's touching on this side. Done. That's it. Probably not, but whatever. So unfortunately, we my camera did die and I ran out of time. So this is gonna have to be a two part video. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get around to it tomorrow to filling it up and seeing if it holds. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to have to wrap the video up here. The video will be out in the next day or two. And um, yeah, hopefully it all works out well and we can put some stuff in it and um, have no problems. So all right, guys, take it easy. Stay awesome. And remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.